What is best? Twist throttle or thumb throttle? Slowly but surely, come on. We're out for a bit of a spontaneous ride today on the e-bike. Again, I'm on the giant, what is it? The Talon. Giant Talon. 2000 watt DIY e-bike. And it's my sort of everyday bike. I use it quite often and I probably don't clean it as much as I should. But, like I said, it's spontaneous because the weather forecast said it's going to be raining all day. Oh, it's about as useful as a tit on the bull at the moment, the weather forecast. Oh, looks like there's a bull there. Speak of the devil. Grazing. What do they say about cows led in the hollow? Wet weather to follow something like that maybe the cows are maybe the weatherman might be right but as far as I'm concerned it's been about as useful as a fart in a coffin at the moment so anyway I got a bit of a topic I want to talk about and that is what is best twist throttle or thumb throttle well actually there's three options you've got the half twist throttle and the full twist throttle like this one and the thumb throttle first of all then I want to say that this just all comes down to personal preference it's what you're happy with what suits your needs what you're comfortable with there could, there's, there's loads of variables to consider that is for sure just, 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 just a few you know some people might have arthritis and stuff like that so then obviously the twist grip's going to be ideal rather than a thumb throttle there's so many things to think about I'm not going to be able to cover everything I'm not going to think of everything I'm sure people will have different ideas and opinions on that and just things that I haven't thought about or even considered and it'd be really interesting to hear them in the comments below so I'm going to just find somewhere nice to pull over and then we're run through the options and ideas. Should we pull up next to this little horse place? Oh, you can see all their houses. They'll probably all be watching now. What's he doing? It does look quite deep though. I don't think I'd go through there on my bike. First of all then, Let's just run through options and ideas and just kind of go from there. You know, what I will say is with the uh, thumb throttle, depending on what gear shifters you've got, etc., you might not be able to fit it on. Um, so there, again, you've got to pick a different option. Um, with a thumb throttle, I have heard a few people, I've ridden both, I've got both twist grip and thumb throttle. I don't have a problem with either, as far as I'm aware. I, I don't get on there and wish that I was on the twist grip or I don't wish that I was on the thumb throttle. I just get on there and ride it and I don't bat an eyelid. But I have heard people saying that when they're off road, they find it hard to modulate when it gets a bit rough. The thumb throttle, you know, they can't con hold it at consistent speed. And if you're riding long distance and you've got to hold it out quite a while, you can get thumb ache, thumb cramp. And if it's really cold, and when you've got your thumb hanging out there, catching all the wind, it just makes everything feel worse. It's definitely got its good points. One that I highlight quite a bit is when you're on the twist throttle, you can be... Um, nearly your elbows dragging when you're going as fast as you can when you've got it ringed out you know your elbows nearly on the floor that's a looks a bit obvious if you're going through a built-up area people can see your bikes powered by a twist throttle um, but with the thumb throttle that's not noticeable if you know what I mean but then again with the half twist grip 
you can pull the throttle to sort of where you want and then grip it with the end of your hand so your elbows are still in line and it's not quite like the full twist grip do you know what i mean because a lot of people actually complain about getting wrist ache or arm ache because they're holding it for long long periods of time repetitive strain you get that with both i would say i get it with either your thumb or you're going to get it with your wrist if you're hammering it along for those sort of times but you can prevent that i think if you had the half twist grip one you know and just like i said twist it to where you want it when you're on your long speed uh, distance riding and then grip it with the end of your hand and you shouldn't have the problem that people are saying about the full twist grip or the thumb throttle one little thing i have noticed with a twist grip is it's easy to knock you know yeah we should just turn our bikes off as soon as you stop but sometimes you don't and maybe if you're maneuvering it into the storage facility or wherever you put it you can just kind of twitch that throttle you know it's a bit can be a bit daunting when you do that and i don't think it's really a hazard if you've got the thumb throttle something else i've heard people complain about with a twist grip maybe because they're not from a motorcycle background is in the motorcycle world well, in the motorcycling world it's known as whiskey throttle now a few times i've heard people say this to me that they've been on their bike they've got just fitted on their diy bike kit they're going off road they've got the twist grip they get a, a bit of a bounce hit a rut or a rock or get caught in some sort of divot pull the throttle a little bit accelerate more than they wanted maybe try and put their feet down to slow themselves down they get caught flip back pull the throttle even more and it usually ends in tears um, sometimes you can go through the hedge you can go through a fence but yeah it's just an occupational hazard that is on motorcycles but with experience that will be prevented now actually the more i've talked about it the more i've realized that there are quite a few differences there's a few considerations to think of and i'm sure there's quite a few i haven't thought of but my personal preference is because i'm from a motorbiking background i love the twist throttle you just can't beat it and if you if you are experienced with it then whiskey throttle or anything like that shouldn't be an issue so the final conclusion then is just like i said at the beginning it's down to personal preference what you feel comfortable and happy with there's no definitive answer that's for sure everyone is different everyone's got different considerations all right then let's test this twist grip knock it straight up into fifth bit of an e-bike ride here we come nothing too serious for me today though Whoa, a bit of gravel we like a bit of gravel <laughs> oh, oh, I've been cutting the edges. I hope I don't get a puncture now. Oh, it's a bit chilly today. My nose is starting to run now. Wow. I've never been in there. Somebody's been doing something in there, haven't they? You can tell that a mile away. I mean, strimming or everything on the floor. Maybe it's one of those bluebell patches or something. Gonna be. So then, I don't know how far I'm gonna go today. That's gonna be a separate upload if I do record. It'd be really interesting to hear your opinions and points of view on what i've just talked about and thanks for watching especially as you got this far 
Hope you enjoyed. Moto Machines out.